former First Lady Mrs. Patience Jonathan is a shopping freak going by facts and figures unveiled by detectives. She blew thousands of dollars at highbrow stores. The cash came from $11,849,06903, which the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission EFCC, said 31 individuals and companies paid into her two domiciliary accounts. The accounts, which are Sky Bank and First Bank had questionable deposits between 2013 and 2017. The Sky Bank account had about $7,452,319.32 lodged in it. Detectives found $4,036,7500 in the second account with First Bank. The ex-First Lady allegedly spent the cash at TFS stores, Selfridges, John Lewis, Kingsgate, Sainsbury's, Harrods, Marks and Spencer, Dolce and Gabbana, and Gina. She went on a shopping spree in expensive outlets in the United States, Britain, Germany, Hong Kong, UE, Italy and China. The highest shopping was at Goyard Beijing in Beijing Xi'an on January 28, 2014, where Mrs. Jonathan shelled out $28,388.72. On the same day at Hulian Zingwang Beijing CN, she blew $13.069.68 on some luxury items. There were transactions traced to Oakham School, NetWest Bank and $26.228.18 spent at Hotel Nisserhof Wiesbadende on November 20, 2015. Perhaps overwhelmed by the EFCC probe and its likely consequences, the ex-first lady has applied for an out-of-court settlement with the EFCC. In a major breakthrough by EFCC with international collaboration detectives found that about $7,452,319. 32 suspicious funds were deposited in the ex-first lady's account with number 2,110,1712 between 8 of February 2013 and 7 of April 2015. The account was opened on September 12, 2013 by a former special assistant on domestic affairs to ex-president Good Luck Jonathan Honorable Dudafawari Pamooi depositing $1,948,4000. About 23 other individuals, including the ex-first lady allegedly deposited cash into the account as follows. Festus Ayo, $287,1000, Ashich Emanuel, $150,000, Philemon Boro, $150,000, Festus Zidahuman, $100,000, Felicia Apatek, $148,900, Patricia Akogun, $99,700, Boro Ojo, $400,000, Stella Wazu, $250,000, Amaka Bayo, $250,000, Sigun Moses, $249,400, Jima Peter, $246,700, Ahmed Musa, $196,400, Ibrahim Musa, $198,300, Dane P. Jonathan, $100,000, Amir Sunday, $250,000, Anejia.p, $300,000, Johnson Ojo, $300,000, Mary Boro, $400,000, Jude Bozi, $500,000, Festus Ayo, $400,000, Jima Moses, $400,000, and Ahmed Musa, $100,000.
The balance in this account as at 9th of September 2016 was about $5,831,173.55, the EFCC said. The second account was opened on February 22, 2013 at First Bank. Cash deposits were made into the account between 26th of February 2013 and 30th of April 2017 which altogether was $4,036,750. Apart from the ex-first lady who deposited $2,037,650 in nine tranches, other lodgements ranged from $98,900 to $400,000. The former C domestic, Dudafawari Pamuai, led the pack of depositors on 27 February 2013 with a deposit of $400,000. Other depositors are, Germain, $100,000, Dudafa, $400,000, Germani, $200,000, Aid Suleiman, $200,000. Muhammad Adamu, $300,000, Francis Mudd, $300,000, Kunlal Peter, $200,000, Suleiman Aid, $299,900,000, and Jonathan Patience, $2,037,650. Detectives traced the transaction's pattern placed the cardholder in various countries to United States, Great Britain, Germany, Hong Kong, UE and Italy. The card was allegedly used in highbrow shops, such as Marks and Spencer, Kingsgate, NetWest Bank, Gina Stores and Harrods. The balance in this account as at 9th of September 2016 was $3,691,145. A source in EFCC said, We have gone far in our investigation of the ex-first lady to prove that it is not a case of a witch hunt in any manner whatsoever. We are already trying to verify the names of the depositors if they really existed or they are fake. Since we have uncovered all these suspicious deposits, we only need her to account in court on how she came about them. Our crack teams work day and night to trace these funds. With international collaboration, there is no hiding place for politically exposed persons, peps, because some of these malls sometimes report suspicious transactions or spending. They marveled at where top Nigerian political office holders and their spouses got the cash being lavished. The former first lady, however, seems to be tired of litigation over her fortune. In a January 30, 2018 letter, titled Proposal for Out-of-Court Settlement of All Cases Related to Dame, Mrs. Ibi Fokker Patience Jonathan, she told the EFCC of her intention to settle the matter. The letter, which was written by her counsel, Chief Ifteo A. San, is being considered by the EFCC. The letter said, as senior counsel, representing Dame, Mrs. Patience Jonathan, former first lady, and companies linked to her and some family members, associates, companies and NGOs, we have thought it fit to engage your commission in a discussion over all issues involving her and the commission with a view to having an amicable resolution of all cases as stated above. This will enable both sides to create an atmosphere for mutual understanding and peaceful coexistence. We will, therefore, appreciate it. If you can give us an appointment at your earliest convenience to have a discussion over all matters involving her and members of her family. We believe that an amicable settlement will be in the best interest of both your commission and our client. 
We assure you of our utmost commitment and sincerity of purpose in this connection, and we solicit your cooperation in this regard. Please, accept the assurances of our warm regards. Another EFCC source said, We have received a letter from the ex-First Lady, we are studying it on whether or not to accept the out-of-court settlement or allow justice to take its course. Apart from the cash, the ex-First Lady is linked to 12 choice properties and a plot of land on which a building is being built. The investigative team had recommended the Section 7 of the EFCC Establishment Act 2004 be invoked on the properties after due verification. The assets linked to Mrs. Jonathan and Port Harcourt are, former Customs Service Officers Mess, two duplexes at two-thirds Bakke Street, landed property with blocks at Ambawai Street, three luxury apartments of four bedroom each at Ambawai Street and Grand View Hotel along Airport Road. Indiana Goa, the Bales estate capital, are two marble duplexes at Oshiaco GRA by Isaac Burrow Expressway, Glass House along Sani Abaca Expressway which is housing Nigerian Content Development and Monitoring Board, Akimfa Edi Plaza by App Filling Station, Melford Okolo Road, and Aridolf Resort. Wellness and Spa on Sani Abaca Expressway. Jonathan. Amir Sunday. Germain. Dudolfa. Germani. <laughs>